be from Kane. I swear these 808s and snares make me go insane. While University of Maryland students are throwing parties in their off-campus homes, they generally aren't thinking about the mess that they will be left to clean up later. Fortunately for them, a well-known College Park personality will be there to help out, at least with the cans. I said I'm the can man. I said I can do what I can around here to help these kids out and keep getting from uh, getting fines from you with code enforcement. Yeah, the can man. Everyone knows who the can man is. Everyone knows the can man because you know he walks around uh, the city. I didn't know if he has a job. I don't know what he really does, but I know he collects cans. It's good because you know he's helping the environment by you know clean up a lot of the cans that the college kids toss out. And I guess he also that's how he pays to live his day to day life. Seeing all the college kids drinking and partying, I've seen all the cans in all over the place. And I started picking them up. And I said, you know, take them to the scrap yard, make some money. I got poured a beer out of cans all the time. You know why you pour the beer out of cans? Because you don't want to stink. Get that on your clothes and stuff. Oh man, they been carrying a bag of cans down the street. Oh, then the people really think you're a bum. He uses various students' houses to store away what he finds until he can take everything to the scrapyard. But few of those students know much more about Doug Trotton, the can man. I thought he was homeless, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's homeless. But I don't know. Yeah, I think he's homeless. <laughs> Doug's neighbor, William Rivera, says that isn't true. He's not actually homeless. I think he shares a... Um, Maybe he pays a, a very small amount and shares an apartment with his friend Tony, who's an employee of the University of Maryland. Doug has been staying in these apartments for more than a year now on his friend Tony's couch. I lost my house like last year, mm -hmm. so I had to move back up in here with a friend of mine that was staying with me. That's, I have my own movement company, okay? and I move like college kids and uh, people getting divorced and separated. I move offices, apartments, you know, restaurants. Plus, I had a landscaping company too. I used to cut fresh food supplies, up, trim trees. My moving business and my landscaping business went downhill because I had a bunch of people working for me here, ripping me off. And stuff. I was already taking things to the scrapyard before, you know, air conditioners, refrigerators, and all that stuff. When I had my moving company and everything, I used to take stuff to the scrapyard. I was getting beer cans every weekend, you know, I was like $150 every weekend, easy. Doug says life is good right now, but he wishes he were in a better situation. I mean, I'm not real happy because you know, you know, I don't have my house anymore. I like the stuff that I'm doing now, which I don't like what I'm doing. I had a couple of people call me a bum and a couple other things, which kind of upset me because I kind of felt like that in a way, you know, because I was digging in people's trash. His advice for the students he knows? Quit drinking so much and uh, pick with school. And, you know, just keep on trucking, do the, do the American dream, you know, see what they can do with themselves. With the University of Maryland, I'm Julianne Pelosi.